All right, space, the final frontier. Drekkies, listen up, because the race to the moon is going private. Google is offering a prize of $30 million to the team that lands on the moon first. And one company taking on that challenge is Moon Express. The company has already been selected by NASA for its $30 million innovative lunar demonstration. ILD, their CEO, Naveen Jain, joins me now from Seattle. And there I am, Naveen. I suppose your company is getting me closer to the day when I might find myself on the moon. Uh, good morning, Lisa. It's good to be here. And uh, we are very, very excited to be the first company to privately land on the moon. That's fantastic. Tell me about uh, what your company does and how it's going to be profitable. So we are, what we are doing is really building a, a commercial uh, moon lander. Uh, if you think about uh, there are two parts to the puzzle. One is to go up there, which is a companies like SpaceX and Boeing and uh, Russia and China and India are building the rockets that will allow a company to go up there. But the biggest hurdle really is the last mile solution. How do you land safely? And this is what we are building, a, using the lot of the technologies that we actually um, are licensing from NASA, such as the micro propulsion technology, that was the result of billions of dollars that R&D that we spent uh, for our Star Wars solution. So we are utilizing many of those technology, enhancing them with the best brains in the uh, uh, private sector, and uh, building a moon lander so we can not only take the DNA, the digits, and the atoms to the moon uh, for scientific purposes, and also. Uh, uh, explore the moon from an entrepreneurial perspective to bring back helium-3 and platinum to make the life better for people on Earth. You know, this is interesting because this is not just purely about exploration. You use the word entrepreneurial. Is this about uh, mining for rare metals there? You mentioned platinum as well. And what do you think the opportunity is? Do we know yet what the scope of um, platinum is there or other rare metals? Yes, so there, is a, uh, there is a tremendous amount of evidence that there is a lot of platinum and also the helium-3 on the surface of the moon. As you know, moon has no atmosphere and has no tectonic activities. That means the asteroids that brought the platinum to Earth also have the same uh, asteroids are hitting the moon constantly. And since there is no atmosphere and there is no tectonic activities, most of the platinum will be on the surface of the moon. And looking at the early data, the evidence is pretty good that there is going to be lots and lots of uh, platinum that's going to be on the surface of the moon that we should be able to bring back to make the life better for people on earth. And when do you expect to actually uh, get one of your, um, get your technology on the moon and be able to turn a profit? What is your timeline? Do you have specific dates at this point? So currently we are shooting for 2014 uh, to be able to take the, as I said, the digits, atoms, and the uh, DNA to the moon from Earth, and that is itself is a great business. You know, we each one of us have a great romance with the moon. So we all want to capture the imagination of people. Of what does moon mean to you? So think about it. That could you take a picture of your family and send it up there? That is going to be there for billions and billions of years because there is not no atmosphere on the moon that's going to ever destroy it. So it could be the your pet's DNA. It could be the picture of your family. It could be even a moon proposal that you could control on the web and write that. That I love Lisa and send it to Lisa as a proposal. So think about that. Or even uh, just creating a platform and what really comes out of that is really the imagination of people. If you go back and look at when the iPhone first came out, nobody ever thought that the best thing we're going to do with iPhone is to really be shooting the birds at the pigs. But that became the most uh, common thing <laughs> that people do on iPhone. <laughs> you make a very good point, Naveen. Uh, tell me this about the contest. Uh, it's $30 million to the team that lands on the moon first who are some of the other competitors so there are you know there were 29 companies that started competing and the NASA had a matching 30 million dollar prize and in their first round they shortlisted the companies down to six and we were number one in their second round they shortlisted the companies down to three and we are one of the three companies and we feel very very good at this point that uh, you know we we wish luck to everybody because I think from a private perspective we want people to be exploring the moon but I think as a moon Express and as a founder and chairman I feel so good that we have a very good chance to be 
be the first private company to land on the moon and bring back the resources. Moon is nothing but another continent from our perspective. And just like any other continent, we want to use that continent and the resources from there to make life better for all of us here. All right, Naveen, thank you so much for joining us today and expanding our horizons, if you will, just a little bit. That was Naveen Jain, chairman and founder of Moon Express.